What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be doing another review of a 520 nanometer forest green laser pointer. So this one comes from the eBay seller that I buy a lot of laser products from, Laser Lands, and they are Chinese based, so you will have to wait a little bit longer for shipping, but this product costs about $25, and I'll put a link down below on where you can get it, and... They claim it's 5 milliwatts, and that might be for legal reasons, it might be more than that, so we'll see when I test it with my LPM. And they also say that the 520 nanometer laser color, they say that it has a Osram diode inside of it. And that's pretty much all the information they provide. They also say the working voltage is 7.4 VDC, and working current is 500 MA, and it's a metal laser. That's pretty much all the information on it. One important thing to note is that this laser bundle does not come with any batteries or a charger, so you will need to buy those separately. This runs on two 16 340 batteries, and you will need a charger to recharge those batteries. Many of you who already own lasers, like the silver 1 watt lasers I reviewed or the Thor laser, you will already have these batteries sitting around, so you won't need to go out and buy them. But if you do need to buy them, you can find them all over eBay, and they're relatively cheap. It's a 16340 lithium-ion rechargeable battery, and it takes two of them. So opening this up, it comes in a nice little box to hold the laser, and you can see it says laser torch on it, and it has some pictures of different colored laser pointers. I like when they include these boxes because it gives you a nice place to store your laser when you're not using it, because if you keep it out loose, it can easily get scratched or damaged, so it's nice when they do include these boxes. And then the bottom of the box just has a diagram that shows you how to unscrew the bottom of the laser and how to insert the batteries. On the bottom of the box, it also lists applications and it basically says a bunch of things that are all the same thing. It basically just says you can use this to point at objects like in a presentation or on a construction site. And it lists the specifications of it and it says wavelength 450 nanometers. And that's the blue color, so this is clearly a kind of general box that they use for a bunch of different lasers and probably they use it more for their blue lasers, so they should probably take that off of there because this is not a 450 nanometer laser, it is a 520. But anyways, opening this up here, we have a little piece of styrofoam that is, I guess, protecting the laser during shipping. We have a little piece of paper that just lists the wavelength and the strength and how to insert the batteries. We have one of those little eBay cards that is basically just says go leave good feedback if you enjoyed your purchase and I'm gonna give you guys a close-up image of what this little white piece of paper says not a lot to it it's pretty basic it just lists the wavelength and the batteries it takes and how many batteries and this is gonna be the laser itself it is silver and it's metal probably aluminum one kind of one nice thing I like a lot too is that the box has that styrofoam in it to hold the laser in place when it's in the box and one important thing to note is that this laser does not have a safety label on it the only kind of writing it has on it is the word laser lands which is the eBay seller I bought it from there is no safety label on it to actually access where you put the batteries you just unscrew the bottom here and you insert two 16 340 batteries with the positive end up and those are not included there's the little green button on the very bottom that's kind of like a little rubber button that is what you use to turn the laser on and off you do not need to hold that down you press it once to turn it on and once to turn it off and you can also unscrew the middle of the laser to get access to the inner workings of the laser the wiring and the diode but I wouldn't suggest going in there unless you know what you're doing because you don't want to mess anything up or disconnect anything and there's really no need to unscrew this middle section unless you understand how a laser's inner parts work and you actually wanted to change something in there. And trying to screw this back in, the wire is actually getting caught in the treads, so it is making this a little bit difficult to screw back in. So I really wouldn't unscrew this middle section unless you absolutely need to for some reason. And one thing I really haven't acknowledged or touched upon yet is that this laser does not have an adjustable focus feature and this is not advertised as a burning laser so don't buy this laser thinking that you can burn stuff with it because I don't believe you can there is no adjustable focus feature and it probably is not even over 50 milliwatts this is kind of just a laser to buy if you're looking for a unique wavelength a lot of people 
don't have a 520 nanometer laser pointer in their collection yet and for $25 it's one of the cheapest options to get a 520 so that's kind of why I purchased it and wanted to review it for you guys. So I have my two fully charged uh, 16340 batteries and I'm going to insert these with the positive end facing upwards towards the end of the laser. And these are just cheap little uh, Chinese batteries that came with some of my other laser pointers. If you have the money I would definitely spring for some higher quality ones. And once you insert the two batteries positive end up you can just screw the cap back on. And once you have it fully screwed in you should be able to press that green button and see a little green dot. And this laser is functional as you guys can see. The beam is not visible in this light setting but I'm sure I will be able to see it in other light settings because you can see the beam on pretty much almost any green laser nowadays. So I am going to show you guys this in some other light settings now and I'm going to start with a normal lit indoor room. So that little green dot is extremely bright and visible and the beam is slightly visible if you're looking right down the axis of the laser, right down the side of the laser. And moving into this little darker area over here, I can see the beam a lot more. And looking on my camera, uh, the camera's not picking it up that much. Uh, I do want you guys to know that the beam is a bit more visible than it's showing on the camera right now. And I'm going to move to an outdoor daytime setting and you can assume that the beam is not going to be visible. You can't see the beam whatsoever no matter what angle you're looking from. However, you can see that green dot and if you continue to follow it with your eye, you can see it for good distances. I mean, that rock wall is probably a couple hundred feet away and I still can see that green dot clearly. And moving to an outdoor nighttime setting, this is where you're going to get some of the best results as far as seeing the beam. And once again, the camera I don't feel is doing a good job picking up the visibility of the beam. I can definitely see it looking down the side of the laser and I can even see it a little bit when I turn the laser sideways. And I think it's also important to note that this laser pointer has a nice straight beam. It matches up with the axis and the body of the laser pointer. Sometimes you get a laser pointer where the beam's a little bit crooked and slanted slightly to one side or the other, but this one is nice and straight. And I'm going to move on to actually test this out on my LaserB ALPM so I can tell you guys how many milliwatts it is. And I am using laser safety glasses and I would advise using laser safety glasses whenever you're going to be looking at that little laser dot. And this is just for, you know, normal eye protection so you don't damage your eyes. And the it looks like we're getting a reading of about an average of... 10 milliwatts and I did speed that up for you guys a bit because it does take around 25 to 30 seconds for me to get an accurate reading and I am going to do a second reading just to double check here and it looks like on the second reading after fast forwarding it a bit I am getting the same thing about 10 milliwatts so definitely higher than its rating of 5 milliwatts I always like when it's a bit over like that because I do like lasers that are a bit stronger and that is nice however I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit stronger than that but you can't really complain because they did only say it was five milliwatts so I have a room filled with fog here and I'm gonna show you guys a bit better what the beam looks like and what the color looks like and I'm gonna show you guys a comparison of the 520 versus the 532 and one other kind of interesting thing to note is that this is one of the laser pointers where the dot and the beam are rectangular in nature and that's a result of the diode and you can do a little more research on that I'm not gonna go too in-depth on that but you will if you look closely at the dot with laser safety glasses of course you will notice that the dot and the beam on this laser are rectangular they're not perfectly circular and what I'm showing you guys here is that comparison of 532 versus 520 the 532 is the one on the right hand side and the 520 is the one on the left hand side. You can see the 532 is more of a lime green color where the 520 kind of gets into more of a forest green color. And the this isn't a very good comparison because what I'm comparing here is a 10 milliwatt 520 versus a 90 milliwatt 532. So I if it it would be a better comparison if they were both the same higher rating of 90 milliwatts because the 520 is such a low rating it's hard to tell 
because it's not very bright. The higher you go in the milliwatt ratings, the brighter you get and the more visibility. So, I mean, the comparison would look a lot better if I had two 90 milliwatt lasers here, but because the 520 is significantly lower in power and visibility, the comparison isn't as noticeable as it could be. Some of you may remember the more recent laser comparison video I did where I compared the two colors, 520 and 532 nanometers. And the laser I used in that video was higher. I think it was like 30 milliwatts. So the comparison looked a lot better and you could see the difference in color a lot better. But nevertheless, you definitely can see the difference of color here. And I do like the 520 because it is kind of like an exotic wavelength that you don't see as often as the 532. So moving on to the reviewing aspect of this. Uh, my main issue I had with this laser was the fact that they don't include the battery and charger because the cheap Chinese batteries and chargers, they could probably include those for like a dollar. Like it would probably cost them one dollar to include the cheap little 16340 batteries and charger because they get them all wholesale and everything. So I kind of am disappointed that they don't just kind of spring for the little extra money to include the stuff that's needed to use this laser. That was kind of my only issue with it. I love the box that they include with it. It's a great little thing to hold your laser in so it doesn't get damaged. I like how cheap this was. $25 is a good price for this wavelength because you don't see it really sold that often and it's kind of harder to come across than the 532s. I also like that this laser was double what they listed it as. They said it was 5 milliwatts and it was 10 milliwatts and I like the host. The metal host is nice. Uh, I don't really mind that there's no adjustable focus because even if there was, this is only a 10 milliwatt laser, so it probably wouldn't make much of a difference. I don't think you'd be able to burn with it anyway. So overall, I'd give this laser a good review, and I would suggest that anybody who wants a 520 go and buy this in the link down below while you still can, because that last 520 I reviewed, it only ended up being up for like a month or two before they ended up taking that listing down, so... And I don't know why they took it down, I think they just ran out of them and never restocked, but if you are interested in getting a 520, I would definitely check out that link because this is a good one for the price. I think 25 is a good price for a 520, so that's, that's just my opinion. I mean, I don't know if somebody has a better place to get a cheaper 520, but I do like adding different wavelengths to my collection, and I didn't think that was a bad price. So if you guys found this review helpful in any way, hit that like button down below. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for a bunch more great laser pointer reviews just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.